Alright, so I have a battle here against Pack 5 Who, a uh, longtime viewer of my Twitch channel, but first time challenger, so I'm not really sure what to expect. And um, let's just go into it as always. So, uh, yeah, here we go. And uh, there's our teams. I am carrying a little a weird thing in OU, Giraffe Rig. One of my um, stream viewers wanted me to use it, so um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. I did try to bring along one of my uh, favorite little Gen 6 things, though, my uh, Mega Deontzi, which I am quite fond of. I'm just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and just go for the Protect to um, avoid taking damage on my Mega Evolution, since uh, Mega Deontzi is uh, quite a bit more frail than its um, pre-Mega form. And, um, yeah, I really just don't want to take that damage. I am going to switch out now. Um, not really confident about this matchup against Vaporeon, since it does have, you know, obviously, Scald. I go out into my Ferrothorn, thinking that I can take the Scald. He ends up just protecting himself, wanting to see what I would do, which is uh, very convenient for me, because I means I do not risk taking the burn this turn. And I'm just going to go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks, figuring that he's probably just going to switch, and he does go out into his Superior. And, um, like a lot of Superiors, this thing does carry Hidden Power Fire, which, um, actually I take pretty nicely without the, uh, boost that he has. He, um, the only real scary thing about Hidden Power Fire coming from a uh, Superior is when it af when it's after the boost. Uh, Superior does not have great special attack before that, so um, yeah, that works to my advantage. However, it does look to be possibly a 2-hit KO, so I go out into my Dragonite, which uh, does resist and unfortunately does break my multi-scale, but what can you do? I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Extreme Speed to uh, take out the Superior, which is um, one scary threat down because um, it never did get a change set up, which is good for me. So he goes out into his um, uh, Sylph now, which um, is his uh, Gardevoir, probably the Mega Variety, and I am going to switch out, not wanting to, obviously, take whatever this thing can do as far as fairy moves go. I go into my Giraffe Rig, hoping that I can maybe take something, but I don't. And, um, yeah, I just get one hit KO'd by Hyper Voice. This is why you don't typically try to use PUs in OU. Oh well, nice try, Giraffe Rig. You tried hard, man. Oh well, so at least, at the very least, it gives me a status switch into my Exedrill, which is a Choice Scarf set. And I'm just going to try to go for the Iron Head. He ends up predicting it, going out into Vaporeon, which is a good move. And, um, yeah, it's not going to do very much to this Vaporeon uh, due to the resistance. And I do not want to stay in. I am locked into my Iron Head, being that I am a Choice Scarfer. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to go right back into Ferrothorn, figuring that I do have the resistance to Scald. The worst thing that can happen is that he burns me, which is a uh, minor nuisance. Since this um, Ferrothorn, I usually like to bring leftovers on this one, but I decided to give Rocky Head a try. Looking at his team, there's only, like, one or two Pokemon that the Rocky Head would be better against. Um, because he brought, actually, a very special team, so I guess the Rocky Head not ideal here. I'm just going to, therefore, set up the Leech Sheet to try to get some, le uh, you know, recovery. That's why I do like Leftovers on uh, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn's major weakness as a wall is the fact that it's, um, what's the word? It's, it's It doesn't have really reliable ways to recover its health, so um, it, Leftovers every turn does seem like it's a benefit. But uh, anyway, I do get the Leech Seed up on the incoming Jolteon. I'm not really sure why he went into it. I don't think Jolteon has a whole lot to do to me. I resist pretty mu I resist his electric moves. He does have Signal Beam, which is neutral, but I don't really think they can do much to me either, since I am a very good special wall, and I think I can actually do some pretty nice damage with Gyro Ball, despite their resistance, due to the fact that Jolteon is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Um, like I always said, the only thing that could have maybe hurt is a double kick, but I don't think they carry those, and I don't think that even would have hurt that much. Not to mention, I think it would have hurt him more, due to my uh, Rocky Head and Iron Barbs. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to go for another Gyro Ball, uh, expecting him to stay in. He ends up just switching out into Vaporeon, which um, I guess works out because it doesn't do that much to Vaporeon. And I'm going to try to set up the um, Leech Sheet on this thing. As he just goes for the Protect, which is um, basically free Lefters recovery for him. So not a bad move, and um, yeah, protects him this turn. So I'm just going to try to set it up again now with the Leech Seeds, and uh, he's going to withdraw again. So obviously not liking these matchups, he goes back into his Gardevoir, which... I guess it's okay. It's an okay thing to get a leech sheet off on. And, uh, yeah. I'm not really feeling confident. These things can carry Focus Blast, so I probably should switch. And I decided to switch out into my big old jelly thing, which is, um, yeah, my jellyfish, my jellicent, this floating jelly of doom. And, um, it has, like, a little crown on its head. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. But I do take the Focus Blast, which is key, being that I am a ghost. And, um... Yeah, he's just going to go for the Hyper Voice, and ends up doing a little more than I thought, because this thing is super strong. 
But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Skull for some extra damage. It doesn't really do that much. I didn't think it would, but I just kind of wanted some extra damage on this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure I can stall it out due to the fact I do have Recover. And I'm just gonna go for that this turn. And I do have not only my Leftovers Recovery, but also the, um, Leech Seed, which will help restore my health as well as wither him down. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Recover. And it looks like after he switched to Shy Shock, it's doing slightly more damage than Hyper Voice. But, um, I think I'm still healing more with my, um, Leftovers, Leech Seed, as well as Recover. So, pretty confident that I can take one more, uh, Psy Shock, and uh, that will be the end of this Garter Bar due to the Leech Seed, which is, uh, pretty awesome. And I finally get Cursed Body. Not that it really matters, because this thing is about to die. And, um, good job, Jellison. You did what you were supposed to do, and just took hits, and, um, was it was a real nuisance. And, uh, yeah, that is a dead Gardevoir, so that is pretty good for me, as his, uh, Sylph, or Slyph, I don't know, Sylph, I think, Sylph goes down. In comes Ixion again, his Jolteon, and obviously I, uh, it actually just dies to Stealth Rocks, that's right. I was, uh, really confused as to why he switched out Jolteon originally, because I thought it was, uh, going to die to Stealth Rocks, and, yeah, as you can see, he did not calculate the HP correctly, or he just, um, was a dirt moment on his part, um, because that Jolteon does die on the, uh, you know, when he tries to switch back in. He goes on to his own extra trail, which I assume is Scarfed as well, um, because I always pretty much assume these things are Scarfed these days, and I go into my Dragonite to take the Earthquake, and, uh, he does, so that's pretty cool, because, obviously, I'm immune to Earthquake. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance, which, um, is going to reach my attack and speed as he goes out into Vaporeon. This thing can have Ice Beam... But I'm thinking, okay, I have one Dragon Dance. Outrage is super powerful. He doesn't have his fairy anymore. Let's just go for it. And, uh, yeah, he's going to take out the Vaporeon. So, uh, Dragonite doing some work. And he goes out back into Extra Trail, um, which does have the resistance to me. Not to mention, um, I think he's actually faster than me with the Choice Scarf, uh, despite my Dragon Dance. So he is going to actually outspeed me, go for the Rock Slide. He ends up getting the Flinch, too, which, um, it's convenient and inconvenient. It's convenient for him. Well, it's, yeah. It does allow me to switch, if anything, so um, I'm no longer locked in Outrage. I go out to my own extra drill, knowing that I, uh, knowing that 100% this thing is Garf now that I saw it outspeed my Dragonite, so um, I know I can resist, take the resisted uh, Rock Slide. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake myself, which takes this thing out, and that's pretty nifty. And his last Pokemon, I think, is going to come out here, this, um, yeah, this Crobat, which obviously I cannot hit with Earthquake, so I am going to switch out against it. And I go out into my Ferrothorn, which... Actually, this, looking at seeing this is like the one thing, okay, this thing will okay, get wrecked, because I'm assuming this is like Choice Band or just regular Brave Bat, which means it's going to be uh, taking a lot of damage when it hits me for my Iron Barbs, and then my uh, Rocky Head, and then its re own recoil. Um, as you can see, it does do quite a chunk to him. It does a chunk to me, too, being that it is um, a neutral hit, but uh, yeah, he's going to go for another Brave Bat, I mean Brave Bird, and... Um, yeah, it is going to take out Ferrothorn, but that will leave the Crobat nearly dead and in range of my Extreme Speed to finish it off uh, with Dragonite. So, good game there, Pack 5 Who. was a uh, interesting first battle we had. We're going to definitely have to do another one in the future. But, um, yeah, just a uh, good game all around. And uh, today's question of the day is going to be this. What is your favorite? Hmm, now I have to think. Hmm, hmm. Sometimes it's so hard to think of these questions of the days, isn't it? Well, today's question of the day, I guess, will be the question of the day of question of the days. What question of the day would you like me to see or use in a future video? I always am stretched to think of ideas for these things nowadays. But um, if you have a question that you want to see other viewers' opinions on, um, go ahead and leave that in the chat, and I will take a look at these things and uh, maybe... Um, pick a few of them and use them for future question of the day. So if you, you know, want you you want other uh, viewers' opinions on certain Pokemon topics, this is your opportunity. So today's question of the day is what question of the day would you like to see in the future? Later.